Welcome back. Um, on this video, we are going to discuss about the substitution method. Okay, so the exact statement of the substitution method is the following. So under a certain condition about g and f, this integral on the left is equal to the integral from the right if we substitute u equals g of x okay so this precise statement also gives us a hint of how to find the u so how to find how to determine the u so one big hint is that we are looking for a composition function and the u that most certainly most likely that we need to choose is the inside function g of x okay to make this more clear let's look at some examples okay so here is one example taken from Stewart's calculus book okay remember that we pick u as the inside function from a composition function so if we look at this expression which expression that is a composition function and you can easily see that the composition function here is this guy and remember we need to pick the u which is the inside function of that composition function in this case, the inside function is exactly x cubed plus 5. So pick q equals x cubed plus 5. Okay. Now, take the, the, the differential, which is roughly similar to taking the derivative. So what is the derivative of x cubed plus 5? It is just 3x squared dx. So now the idea is we replace the inside by the u and then we have x squared dx left correct x squared is from this guy and we have also dx but we want our integral to be expressed completely in terms of u so we need to somehow make this x squared dx in terms of u. Now if we look at this du, we can see that expression inside this equation. So notice we have that x squared dx. So if we solve for x squared dx, so how we can solve for x squared dx? We just need to get rid of that 3 by dividing both sides with 3. So then x squared dx is just one third of du. What does it mean? It means that we can replace x squared dx by one third du. Okay. So replace that guy x squared dx by one third of du. And since one third is a constant, we can always pull outside the integral. And now this integral is easy to take care of. So increase the exponent by one and then divide by whatever number appears on the exponent. And don't forget plus a constant. So we have one over 30 u to the 10 plus constant but since we want the answer in terms of x then we need to substitute back x cubed plus 5 into our u so one third x cubed plus 5 to the 10th plus constant and we are done 
Okay, here is the next example. This also taken from Stuart. So we want to integrate sine natural log x over x dx. Remember what should we take for our u? Usually we take our u to be the inner function of our composition function. And we can see that the top is a composition function with the inner function equals natural log of x. So it is natural also to pick our u to be natural log of x. Okay. Then we take the differential. What is the derivative of natural log of x? It's 1 over x and then we just need to put the x. Okay. Okay, so let's change this into integral of sine. Remember that natural log of x is exactly u. And then we have 1 over x dx. And now notice that this 1 over x dx is exactly the u. Therefore, the integral is equal to integral of sine u du. And what is the integral of sine? Is it cosine or minus cosine? It is negative cosine u plus constant, but we want the final answer to be written in terms of x, so we need to put natural log of x back instead of u. So minus cosine natural log of x plus constant. Okay, for the next example, let's look at problem, I mean, let's look at a definite integral problem. Okay, so we want to compute the integral from 1 to 2 of that expression. So first, we need to find the inner function. So even though it is not written explicitly, we know that this e to the 1 over x can be think of as e to the power of parentheses 1 over x. So that 1 over x is our inner function. So it is natural to choose our u to be 1 over x. Now what is the derivative of 1 over x? If you don't remember, you can rewrite as x to the negative 1 first. So then the derivative of that expression is negative x to the negative 2 dx. Or equivalent to minus 1 over x squared dx. Okay. So let's integral e and then we have 1 over x equals u. So e to the u divided by x squared dx. Okay. One to two. Okay, the next step we want to express the rest of the expression, which is dx over x squared, in terms of u. And if we look at over here, we also have that expression over here. So to solve for dx over x squared, we just need to multiply both sides by negative 1. So negative du is exactly dx over x squared that we want. Okay. So we have integral e to the u, and then that's dx over x squared is nothing but minus du. 
So we, I can put minus outside. Okay. But now be careful that this 1 and 2 is the limit for the x variable. So if I write explicitly this is from x equals 1 to x equals 2. Okay. And we want to change the limit. Now we want to find the limit for the u variable because we integrate with respect to the u. Okay, so to change the limit of the integration, we just need to find out when x equal 1, what is the value of u? So first recall that u is equal to 1 over x. So if x is 1, it implies that u is 1 over 1, which is also 1. Now, if x is 2, then what is the value of u? Plug in x equal 2, u is 1 half. Okay, so that integral become integral minus now instead from 1 to 2 it's become from 1 to 1 half e to the u du okay now the integral of e to the u, the antiderivative of e to the u is just itself. So we have minus e to the u and then we evaluate that expression at one half and one. So we have minus e to the one half plus e to the power of one which is just e. So that's our final answer. Okay, let's look at the next example. First, locate the inner function, in this case, minus x squared. So pick u equals minus x squared. Therefore, the u is minus 2x dx. So now this integral is equal to the integral of x e to the u dx okay so let me rewrite this expression let me put the x after e to the u and this is from x equals 0 to x equals 1 okay so to emphasize let me put x equals 0 to x equals 1 okay and we have e to the u now we want to express that x dx in terms of u so look at this equation and we and try to find x dx on that equation and we can see we have x dx so to isolate that x dx we just need to divide by negative 2 so x dx is x dx is exactly minus du over 2 okay so minus du over 2 let let's put the minus outside and du over 2 and also we can put that one half in front of the integral so we have minus one half okay now our job is to change the limit of integration from the limit of the x variable into the limit for the u variable okay so look at again the definition of our u u is minus x squared okay when x is 0 then the value of u is also 0 and when x is 1 
the value of u is minus 1. So now the integral is equal to integral of minus 1 half integral from so x equals 0 correspond to u equals 0 and x equal 1 corresponds to u equals negative 1 and we have e to the u du and the integral of e to the u is just itself so minus 1 half e to the u and then we plug in negative 1 and 0 so at the end we have plug in u equals negative 1 minus 1 half e to the minus 1 and then plug in u equals 0 plus 1 half e to the power of 0 which is just 1 so we just need to write it as 1 half okay so that's basically the method of substitution on the next video we will discuss how to deal with the integral where we cannot easily locate the inner function okay in that case we need to consider another things that can help us to decide which u that we need to pick. Okay, so that's all for now. See you on the next video. Bye.